All right, welcome back to the Coosa River Farm Boys. This is a little different episode today. It's going to be more of an educational episode. We and, ain't jug fishing. Yeah, we've done <laughs> a lot of jug fishing. Like, and I might add, we've been very successful. Very like successful jug and, and a lot of fun jug fishing. Right, oh, and, yeah. and, and we've been accepted into the Alabama jug fishing uh, community, right? Right, right. All right, but uh, before we get started on what we're talking about today, talk about our drawing that we had, our winner, and what our plans are in the future. Our winner, uh, we, I, this is Tuesday, so I posted on Facebook yesterday, Monday, the 4th, 5th, 13th. Today's Tuesday. Uh, the 14th. Uh, it's Pi Day. Pi Day. Pi Day. Yeah, it's Pi Day. 3.14. That's right. And uh, anyway, uh, Pageant Goins McGrady is our winner. Uh, she was one of our early on subscribers and followed us on Facebook and and uh, we want to congratulate her and uh, she's got her sweatshirt on the way. And uh, Right, and she's married to Randy McGrady who finished high school with me. Great yeah. athlete, great pitcher, great hitter, great basketball player. Uh, and I think, what are we going to do? Uh, a once a month giveaway? We'll go, yeah, let's try to do once a month. And we got some hats coming. We, we might, we'll do a hat. We, we got a few more sweatshirts. Uh, we could even do a tumbler. Right. Uh, We'll change it up from one month to the next. Oh, absolutely. And, and you know, we did this the first of this month, so yep. I guess we'll do it the first of April. Yep. Uh, t-shirt. We'll do a t-shirt one month, and, you know, especially with summer coming up. Right. And we got some hats coming. We got so, some hats coming. I mean, which that means is you're going to do it first of April, so people can go ahead and start uh, subscribing on our right. YouTube channel right. Right. now, so they'll be. Right. I mean, if you go ahead and do so it now, you, you're going right. to be eligible. Yeah. Now, if you if you see us on Facebook, where we uh, every week when our episode comes out, we post a link on Facebook that will take you to YouTube. So if right. you just click that link on Facebook, it will take you to YouTube, and all you have to do is go to the bottom right. Of that screen once you get on YouTube and hit that subscribe button and, and you will be a farm boy subscriber. Right, and all and and we don't really care which one you watch us on, but we're just asking our Facebook yeah. friends to go yeah. to uh, YouTube and be a subscriber and a Facebook friend. But, yeah, right. Yeah, well, and, yeah. And to be eligible win the prizes, you got to be a, a Facebook and a YouTube and yeah, and a YouTube subscriber. But oh. If you see it on Facebook, that link takes you to YouTube. I mean, we don't right. post the video on Facebook. We post the link to YouTube on Facebook. Right. So when you click that link on, on Facebook, it takes you to YouTube. So all you have to do is go to the bottom of the screen and hit subscribe. And, and tell and them why we're talking about this. Tell them our numbers, our Facebook. Okay, link. here's our numbers right now. Uh, with this, with our sweatshirt giveaway, we went up a little bit on our YouTube subscribers. We're up to 352 the last time I looked, which is real good, but we want to grow it some more. Now, our Facebook friends are 3,250 the last time right. I looked. Right. And we would love to get some of y'all 3,200 over to that 350 pile. All and, of them. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and I've talked to two or three people in the last couple of days, like Coach Brooks. Yes. You know, he follows us on Facebook, but he doesn't know we're on YouTube. Talk to the guy at the golf mm -hmm. course who follows us on Facebook, but don't know we're on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just, and, and, you know, we're probably over 50 videos at this point. Yes, you say? we are. Yeah, and we are. They, they just need to know that there's no issues there going to YouTube. It's not going to charge them nothing. Right. Uh, nothing's going to happen. You know, it's just totally just like, you know, doing the Facebook friend. Just right. Go Absolutely. and subscribe. Absolutely. All right. Uh, our episode today, we're going to be looking at, obviously, the price of eggs has skyrocketed. Well, I've considered this, Al, and, uh, and I really, when you told me I couldn't get chickens to July, I just kind of flushed it, but I, I really thought about getting up a few chickens and getting my own eggs. Okay. So we're going to talk about 
We're right. Dude. Well, yeah. We're going to talk about the pros and the cons, right? Right. Absolutely. You know. My wife said this morning that Al's, Al's chickens must not be laying. Well, Jeff, I'm going to bring you a dozen to work tomorrow. <laughs> okay. I, I brought him a dozen to church Sunday. Yeah. And they are laying. But, are uh, they? Yeah. And I'm going to bring you a dozen to work tomorrow. But what we want to talk about is getting your own chickens. Now, I know a lot a little bit about a lot of things, but I don't know much about anything, you know, but I do know a little bit about chickens. All right, uh, so, you know, your your gro uh, grocery store eggs are like $5 a dozen uh, because of the avian flu and bird flu and stuff like that. Well, if you went, and I bought my ch hens from Cackle Hatchery in Missouri. There's a lot of hatcheries that sell these. All right, um, and, uh, Cackle Hatchery is an excellent hatchery. I, I ordered twice from them. They ship them in the mail. They're, they're, I hadn't lost a one of them, you know, and, I'm, and, and there's other ones that are really good. Uh, and I, now don't ask me how they do this, but they sex them before they send them out, and they're over 90% correct. Now, obviously, you don't want a bunch of roosters. No. All right, so I not gonna get many eggs. No, you're not going to get many <laughs> eggs. So I have 13 hens right now, and with the the, the the amount of daylight, that's the that's the yeah, determining that's, factor. Hey, did uh, changing the daylight saving time affect it? Uh, no, but it did affect deer during <laughs> deer, deer season. All right, but anyway, uh, I got 13 laying hens, and I'm getting about 10 eggs a day now. Well, if you look at these hatcheries now, you can't get a chicken, a hen, until August or September because everybody's buying them. You go to Tractor Supply, you know, they'll get chickens in, they sell them out in uh, an hour, okay? Well, all right, I'm going to talk a little bit about the pros of getting your own chickens. Number one, the eggs... Are delicious. They are. They yeah, are. They are tremendous. Yes, they're they're yeah, night and day difference between the night and day. Box. But all right, the eggs are delicious. Also, another thing is I put uh, pine shavings from uh, you know feed stores, etc., in mm -hmm. the coop, and about once a month I go and clean those out, and they have nitrogen. You know the the chicken poop has plenty of nitrogen in it, and you need to let it cool a little bit. But it's real, when I say cool, let the nitrogen cool a little bit. But it's a great fertilizer for your garden. And if you looked at the price of fertilizer, oh, it's bad. It's it's really really high. All right. So a positive is you get to raise your own food. That's a lot of pride. The positive is uh, the eggs taste better. The positive is you're going to get good composted material uh, uh, for your garden plants, etc. Now, let's talk a little bit about how you would get chickens or, 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 or chicks in, in today's world. All right, you could order them, but it's gonna be a long lead time. You could uh, go to Tractor Supply or other feed things, but they sell out usually within an hour. All right, now, here's something you can do. You can go to a feed store, you can order one from Amazon, you can order your own incubator, which does everything. Okay, everything. Turns the eggs, sets the humidity, and all you'd have to do is find someone who has hens that have a rooster. Because if the hens don't have a rooster, those eggs aren't what? They're not fertile. They're, They're not, not fertile. Hatch. So you could go to someone, and, and like my brother-in-law, he has a rooster and, and 10 or 12 hens. He would probably give you 20 eggs. All right. Your fertility rate is usually about 60%. <coughs> Excuse me, Otter, you got me choked up. Those a rooster and 10 or 12 hens? Yeah. He stays busy, doesn't he? Yeah, that rooster stays busy. <laughs> he does. But anyway, you could buy an incubator online that does pretty much everything for you. The only thing you'd have to be concerned about if, if your power goes out. But uh, the chicks you order in the mail are usually 3 to $4 a piece. They sex them. I order only hens. Don't ask me how they sex them. I don't know how they do that there at those hatcheries, but they do that. If you go into Tractor Supply and it says straight run, that means that 
the, the, you don't know, you're probably going to get 50% hens, 50% roosters. If it says pullets, which is a female chicken, then you're going to have all females. All right. But you could get an incubator, find someone that has some chi uh, has some eggs. You could incubate them. And do you know how long it takes a chicken egg to hatch? That, I thought that, that I, I was thinking to ask that question now. I have okay, no idea. it's 21 days. That's all it is, 21, 21 days. days. 21 days. And then you would need like a brooder, a heat layout, that kind of thing. And you can, you know, and uh, maybe in another video, I can show you exactly that stuff. It's, it's not, trust me, if I can do it, anybody can do it. Okay, because I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer. But uh, the, the, the negatives, let's talk about the negatives. And there are not that many negatives. You're going to have some upfront cost in building a coop. If you're raising laying hens, you need 10 square feet per bird. So if you got six hens, which would give you, um, let's say, you probably get five eggs a day in the heat of the, you know, in the uh, with the daylight and everything. So five eggs a day, five times seven is what, Otter? Thirty-five. Thirty-five eggs. Wow. Okay, that's a lot of eggs. I got one right. Uh, you did. You did a good job on that proportion this morning too. <laughs> but anyway, all right, all right, you're gonna need to build a good coop. You can do it with, uh, you know, repurposed lumber, that kind of thing like that. Now, I choose to go with my coop at home with hardware cloth rather than chicken wire. Because if you got a vicious dog coming through your neighborhood, they will eat through the hardware cloth. I mean, not the hardware cloth, but the chicken, chicken wire. Chicken wire. It's going to be a little more costly. You're going to need to put a top on it as well. All right. And because chickens are so low on the food chain, I've seen possums around my coop, foxes around my coop, uh, but I've never lost a chicken to a predator because I put I actually put some thought into building the coop. So you're going, oh, and aerial predators, if you let them free range, hawks, mm -hmm. you know, or can come down and get them. But you want a coop and you need one nesting box for every three hens you have. You know, if you got 10 hens, three nesting boxes is plenty for them. You can do those homemade. You can do them however you want to. All right. Uh, and the, uh, but the, the, the negative is you're going to have to have a predator-proof coop, and that's going to be an upfront cost. But once you get that done, your cost goes down. They're going to be need to fed, be fed and watered every day. And the only problem with that is if you go on vacation, you know, you need to find a trustworthy neighbor or something. And, and the feeding, you know, I go out each morning before I go to school and feed and water mine, and it, it, it takes five minutes, you know. And that's really the only negative is that they are definitely low on the food chain. So you got to predator-proof them. If you let them completely free range, you know, you could have some problems. But if you got a big enough coop with a run in it, you know, when I say a run, an area for them to run around in, that's going to be plenty for them. Okay. Now, Otter, I got a question for you. Are chickens herbivorous, carnivorous, or omnivorous? Omnivorous. They are omnivorous. They will eat, eat anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have taken ham bones left over from Thanksgiving and thrown them in there, and they are like piranha. <laughs> They are like piranha on those, okay? I have took, and I know this sounds a little gross, but I have actually taken the guts from fish cleaning and oh. put in there for them. And if you want some real fun, go to a bait shop and buy 50 crickets and dump them in there. Mm -hmm. And those crickets have no chance. Those chickens are as fast mm -hmm. as, as fast as they can be. But here's the other negative, or not really a negative. You're gonna to have to wait 20 weeks. You know, from the baby chick until the first egg is usually about 20 weeks. Some of your great layers are Rhode Island Reds, Buff Orpingtons, Barred Rocks, Domineckers, all right. Uh, some of the what's called sex link chickens. I'll do that, okay? All right, so uh, those are all good layers all right and if you get eggs from someone and they're what you would call mutt chickens 
they're still if they're if they're crossed bet- with other oh. laying, you know, if it's a Rhode Island Red Rooster crossed with a Buff Orpington, they're going to lay good, and they're going to have what's called hybrid vigor. That means you you brought different genetics in it. Yeah. Boy, I'm giving some good. Can I rub your head, Otis? <laughs> I cut all my hair off. So yeah, it feels so good. <laughs> Look at that head. Is he not a sexy mm-hmm. man? Mm-hmm. All right. Obviously, he is, isn't he? <laughs> now, your your feed bill for chickens will go way down in the summertime. Feed them your grass clippings for the yard. They graze just like a cow. And when you feed them the grass clippings, Jeffro. You're going to get those really orange yolks, mm-hmm. higher in fat, uh, omega-3 fatty acids, mm-hmm. uh, all the good things that you want. Oh, yeah, they're good for you. Yeah, that, and if you have yeah. leftover lettuce, anything like that, feed them, feed them that. Now, do you have, do you want to have any questions about uh, hens? How long does a bag of feed last, and how much does a bag of feed cost? Well, uh, you know, obviously, with inflation, that's everything. That's a good question. That is an yeah. excellent question, Otis. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, if you buy the non-GMO, which I do, a 50-pound bag is like of laying pellets, uh, about $15. And I'll buy a 50-pound bag of scratch grains as well, and I'll mix that up. And that'll last me two weeks. You know, so I've got like thirty, thirty-two dollars in it. Mm. So I did some research before we did this, and if you're efficient, your eggs from your chickens, without your coop, you know, obviously a coop is a capital offense. Uh, ca- not a capital offense. Mm. <laughs> Expense. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, the research shows me that it's going to cost you about two dollars and fifty cents a dozen. Which is much cheaper than the grocery store. Oh, yeah. Right mm-hmm. All right. And they're going to be non GMO. They're going to be very fresh. Now, let me ask you this question. Uh, hey, here's a quick one GMO. All right. That's a genetically modified organism. Okay. All right. A GMO, like Roundup Ready corn, that means that when farmers plant corn, they can spray that patch with Roundup and it not kill the corn. Right. All mm-hmm. right. Um, in mass farm production, uh, they bit, the corn has been genetically modified. If you see a cornfield on the side of a road that's a huge cornfield, don't go pick a ear and eat it. Eat it. It might give you raging diarrhea. Mm-hmm. That's that's for animal consumption only. The one question I hadn't got that What's I that? wanted: Do you have to have a rooster for the hens to lay eggs? Well, I think we need the answer to that. You yeah, said that we up talked. Front. To, yeah, you didn't have a rooster. Oh, okay. Then my ADD <laughs> kicked in. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, and uh, you do not have to have a rooster. Uh, and most munis- municipalities will allow you to have hens, but no rooster. All right. Uh, and what we're going to do? We're going to wrap this segment up. Then we're going to go down and show y'all the chicken tractor that was in a video, and talk just briefly on meat chickens. Hey, that's a wrap for right now. That's a wrap. Chickens. All right. All right, Otter. You know this thing well, don't you? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I had to crawl in here. All right. This is my homemade chicken tractor. This is for meat chickens. Your meat chickens are things like Freedom Rangers and a Cornish Cross. We went with Freedom Rangers. We processed about 32, 33, the ones I didn't run over with the chicken tractor. Yeah. Or All right. get away. Yeah. Yeah, one got away. Well, Lucky got away. Yeah. Lucky Have got away. Have you seen Lucky? No, I think Lucky got uh, consumed by a dog or something. I bet he did. Oh, and one of our viewers, I actually talked to some, said, look, I couldn't eat chicken for a week after, after <laughs> y'all processing. But I said, look, people need to know where their food comes mm-hmm. from. Right. All right. But this is a chicken tractor. And we process meat chickens at 11 weeks, Freedom Rangers. And what you do with this, you know, once they're feathered out, you put them in this, and I hook this up to the truck or the tractor, and every other day I'll pull it to fresh grass. Not only do they get their feed, they get to eat grass, bugs, and stuff like that. You know the chickens that you're processing have no steroids, no antibiotics. Mm-hmm. And no guys, growth, hormone, growth hormones. Right. And look, tell the guys, 
tell our viewers what they taste like. Oh, the, the chickens were wonderful. Wonderful. Tender, and, just, yeah, tender, just, just the best. Apart. And just wonderful. The, the thing about it, there was a lot of pride in producing yeah. your own stuff and, you know, being self-sustainable. Guys, if you like uh, YouTube stuff on this, follow Stony Ridge Farmer, Farmer Tyler Ranch, Just a Few Acres Farm, Our Wyoming Life, some of the shows that I really follow and really enjoy. But, hey, if I can build it, anybody can, can't they, Otter? That's right. All right, mm -hmm. and I want to show y'all one other thing. Come over here, Jim. Look at now, this is the area where the chicken tractor was full. All mm -hmm. right, notice the grass. Yeah. Is it not super green? Yep. All right. A little I mean, fertilizer. Right. It's natural fertilizer. It's it's come up. Uh, the grass is really great. All right. We've gotten a lot of uh, good use out of those chickens. Matter of fact, I don't know if we, we talked about I don't know how many we're going to get in July. We may get 40. We may get 50. We may get 100. Right, Otter? <laughs> I think 40. 40. <laughs> well, we'll Step start up 10. I agree with that, Otter. Yeah. yeah. Mm. All right. But anyway, this is the grass where those chickens were and that nitrogen was in the ground. All right. So I hope y'all have learned some things about chickens today. Uh, I, hey, give it a shot. You know what Theodore Roosevelt said? Better to have tried and failed than live in the gray area, neither knowing defeat or victory. Now we got some things coming up. We got gardening coming up. We got trot lining coming up. Coming up, yeah. We got, mm -hmm. and when we get the April showers, we're gonna yeah. kayak the otters' place. That's right. And we, it's got to be warmer for you to get it's out gotta there. It's got to be warm, and the water's got to be rolling, so I don't yeah. have to paddle. Yeah, so you don't have to paddle. All right, and uh, we've got uh, one of our coworkers is gonna lead us in a yoga class. Yes. Uh, we're well, gonna do I that at Otterville. I had about forgot about that one. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I know you purposely want to forget about it. Because you don't want to do all that stretching. Hey, what do you hit? And how, talk about what you do to, to uh, join our channel. All right. First off, we want to go to YouTube. Of course, if you're watching this, you're on YouTube. Because mm -hmm. we don't post it anywhere else. Uh, hit that subscribe button. That's the main. We want you to like and share and all that. But we really want you to hit that subscribe button mm -hmm. and comment. Tell us what you think. Right, mm -hmm. because we love ideas, you know. Exactly. We, we yeah. want to go to some more places and stuff like this. Hey, hey and Gracie has even used her iPod, like an <laughs> iPad, to to hit subscribe. Right. Mm -hmm. And she's right. also hit that Good bell job, for Grace. notifications. Hit that bell for notifications. Mm -hmm. That'll just tell you when we do when right. our videos come out. Right. They usually come out on Mondays. Hey, but I, we hope today has been a little bit educational for you. I know I hadn't been my normal silly self today, but it's something that I take pride in, and that these guys take pride in, that, you know, we're trying to feed ourselves and be a little more self-sufficient. Hey, that's a wrap, and get a shot of that beautiful Coosa River. It is beautiful. There's our buddy out there, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See him? Yeah. yeah. Harry the Harry yeah. is waiting on something. Yeah, that is pretty. It's a beautiful kids. afternoon. Yeah. yeah gorgeous. Hey, yeah, it is gorgeous. We'll see y'all right. next week.